Hello. You are welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Ifama. Those of my new subscribers. If you are just joining me, uh, perhaps the first time of coming across my channel. This is that young lady told you about. This is where I sit. I connect with my followers. So I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel, Oma Therapy City. It's a very good platform where you can you know, learn diverse things about life, lifestyle, relationship, people, dream and all of that. I'm going to be talking about the cons of early marriage. Just to recap on my last video, we talked about the pros of early marriage, even though the title has it, the pros and cons of early marriage. But what we did just did too is just the, pro, the pros. I know when we're talking about the pros, we're talking about the benefits. What are the benefits of marrying early? What are the advantages? You know, you can see them there in my just go to my video list you see. Then today I'm making justice to the cons of early marriage. In case you're just coming by, ensure that you are a very good follower, a faithful follower this time around because you have to subscribe and turn on the bell for more notifications. Okay, let's let's be serious. Let's get to business. But when we are talking about cons, what do we mean? We are talking about the consequences. We are talking about the disadvantages. We are talking about the implications, the demerit of something. But because we are talking about uh, marriage, our topic is marriage. Okay, so you have to like see that the implication of marinelli this video is not to contradict is not to condemn is not to discredit early marriage mm -hmm. this video is a true more light to the concept of early marriage just the way we, we dropped the, the last one about the benefits so this one is the con it's not easy to go together with anybody yeah it's not easy the difficulty in going together is the reality that will hit you later on because as you are growing up you will find out that you have not really found yourself you know when young people is yet to really find yourself or get their life or sorted out there is, a, there is a difficulty there because as a young person you are trying to find who you are and marriage on its own is draining you so imagine okay you think this is what you want and maybe along the line you find something that is more satisfactory and you don't really like what you are doing uh, presently there it could actually affect you because you have already diverted to, to pursuing different kind of things this has made a lot of people to run out of marriage in pursuit of who they are who they want to be do you know why because they're not satisfied in what they were doing earlier on it's not because they wanted to do that <laughs> they have not found who they are and because the partner they are with is not understanding and is always nagging, complaining, you know, or is not working in the same direction, they try to run out. Yeah, in pursuit of who they want to be. Instability in the money situation is another factor to why early marriage is ill advised. Yeah. Now consider a youthful couple, maybe still at the university or just starting their career life. You know, it's gonna be very very difficult for one to support the other financially because of so many things to take care of. Marriage is a responsibility. Alright, so it demands it demands that two people who are moving to this at least have something to me, at least can support each other financially. Now in this situation when this kind of marriage is not properly planned in the sense that there is a child involved and the man has to work his, his ass off to you know provide food on the table every day guy this is not a, this is not a play or you know it's going to put strain on the guy and if the woman is not doing anything is yet to do something or if that or the lady is yet to be employed or cannot be employed based on age in any factory or the man doesn't have something to, like money to start up something for her. Ah. Lack of life experience is another reason why 
early marriage is not advice as young people may actually require enough time to completely understand who they are find themselves and then understand their objective without really marrying someone that will not be best for them along the long run marriage is one of the longest journey that has no graduation you you will keep on being there to the day you die it requires people who are experienced at least who have lived their life and you know have come to the point of saying okay this is what i want out of life this is what i want out of marriage and all of that irrespective of personal development being continuous meaning that it can be continued in marriage irrespective of that marriage must not meet it at its future stage there's some personal development that needs to be complete before marriage else it will be aborted if you actually pursue a degree you should, you should at least finish a degree because th th there are a lot of people not like in most cases but there are some people that enter school while on the long run they got married and they couldn't finish their university so i feel that some personal development that you need to finish you need to have if it's skill if you are starting it you need to finish it so, it so that it can help you reduce the stress in marriage Then we have higher risks of divorce. I know most people don't really talk about this, but let's read this before I explain. <clears throat> now, according to studies carried out by the Office for National Statistics, the UK Statistics Authority's executive office states that the divorce chance is greater for couples who marry in their early 20s than those who wait until their 30s. Now, this is not to tell us that those who married in their 30s or who married in their late 20s or who married in their 40s are not likely to divorce. Mm -hmm. We are coming from an angle that these people who married in their late 20s or early 30s are people who might have had enough exposure and have experienced life and within themselves they have they are ready to settle and work things out and they will go for what they want not just to compromise or certain things unlike young couples young people who doesn't know what they want but just move into marriage with little or no experience so we will be ending with this i don't want to thank everybody that joined in today um today's video thank you for watching thank you for exercising patience to watch the end of this video god bless you let me know in the comment section do you think early marriage is worth it or not